This is a new level of arm robbery in Nigeria. One day he entered a luxurious bus traveling in the night. All the money he had gathered together to go and used to buy things, they were in his bag. And some arm robbers stopped the bus. And they said, well, most of you are here. If you're a Christian and you are paying your tithe into this corner. Arm robbers asking for tithe prayers. Come to this corner. So the brothers are there. They didn't know why he was asking them to come out. They came out. This brother that had huge money. He didn't pay tight, so he stood with the non tight pairs. The arm robbers now said, Okay, those of you that you pay your tight can go away, we can't rob you. All oh, those of you don't pay. The Bible says, We are robbers. We are robbers too. No. Robbers steal from robbers. They collected all the money. He was telling me the story, I was shaking my head. That was because of this, this money mongers, these tight mongers. There's, I've told you, there's nothing they cannot do to collect money by all means. If everybody in this house including everyone watching anywhere worldwide decides not to give a dime in form of giving of any sort titan offering of any sort including this speaker jehovah is too big to be stranded i can tell you this if you are not a titan you end up a beggar Anyone who is not paying his tithe is not going to heaven. Full stop. Say no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The prerequisite for heaven is not tithe. The prerequisite for heaven is Jesus. Can I ever call a hundred million sacrifice to God? No. That would be an insult. Not now. And God is a seed of joy. <laughs> If I say sacrifice, it can be of my own personal resources. My own. The one he gave me. I want to say something very, very clear. I said that yesterday. If everybody in this house, including everyone watching anywhere worldwide, decides not to give a dime in form of giving of any sort titan offering of any sort including this speaker jehovah is too big to be stranded it will the work of god will not fill it one inch i said two days ago that in the course of this construction what was being spent a month was bigger than one year's tithe and offering together bigger one month then where did the rest come from don't forget that god still has cyruses don't forget that god still has cyruses that is people who are not within the commonwealth of israel that god can summon when necessary to carry out his assignment with don't ever forget that i remember some time back a woman was coming to our church husband wasn't coming to our church he didn't belong to this religion but he was okay with the church he liked the church i used to send the woman with his resources he said i believe in that church put this put this one there for me whether it was his titus or whatever it was he said put it there for me i believe that he doesn't come to church at all listen to me beloved brothers and sisters god is too big to be waiting on man before he walks so clean it from your mind that a tiny money whether it is called offering or tight can sponsor god or sponsor church possible now listen to this is it possible for money that people give to be the sole reason or the sole um, um, source or empowerment for running the church and service has ended and you forgot to take offering 
Look at Port Harcourt Crusade. The first crusade of this year. Eh? The one I discussed with God about friend. Look at this crowd. See these people. Not one naira was taken from them. You remember the Sokoto crusade? Somebody told Pastor Ben, can you see such crowd? What if the people give even small, small money? All right. Now some will calculate in their mind. See this crowd. Just if one money-minded people just stand there and say, all of you, you know what? 1,000 seed. Let your life change. Or you just walk, you just, just walk something out. And then let how many how many how many thousands are this? And multiply it. Shouldn't that be in the mind of anybody who went out to look for money? Can you go and look out for money and see people who can give money and ignore it? All right, you look at Jalingo Crusade. Not a dime was taken. That just shows the crowd of the people. Not a dime. All right, go to Kaduna Crusade. Not a dime was taken as an offering or a seed. This particular crusade, the church, this church did not pay for it. Kaduna Church did not pay for it. Church offering and church and church tithe didn't pay for it. It came from this pastor's pocket, his own resources, personal. That has nothing to do with church. Let me give and also still be the person to preach. Over a hundred buses were chartered. Millions were spent for this. If it was an investment, wouldn't you stand there and say, this is how much I spent. If I, so many and so many people time, so many give, the money will be recovered back. That devil is a bastard liar. You go to Sokoto Crusade. Not one dime was taken a seed offering tight. Yeah. So where is the money causing it to happen? Do you think it's just Nigeria? Alright, see Zambia crusade. Zambian currency is Kwacha, right? That's the Zambian vice president. Not one dime was drawn. Oh, Lord. Please don't let anyone who does not know God confuse your mind. Money, not a dime was taken from Zambia to do that crusade money to rent the sounds you are seeing there to do everything came out of here and not one offering was taken on the crusade ground or here for it you will make it we are the generation that will exist as if the devil is not alive we are the generation that will persecute the devil are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Are you hearing what I'm saying here today? Lift your right hand and say, God is big enough to survive, to carry out his agenda without a dime from my hands. Say after me, if I give, it's not because he needs it. If I am convinced to give and I give, it's for my benefit. That's Kano Crusade. Again, not a dime. Am I communicating at all? Somebody say a loud amen. 
Do we want us to move from there and go into welfare? You see the Christmas welfare we do here every Christmas? That's people queuing at the gate. This is 2020. This wasn't a crusade ground. This is food distribution for Christmas. We had to stand in the car to address the people. Converted the car to a stage. There were people from the other religion on wheelchairs who came. They were sad to see them. This one was crying. This is free of charge. No subvention from anywhere. No charging church members. No, nothing. When was the last time you see a thing like this done? Whether it's government, whatever, by any. When was the last? This is lying all the way to the highway. Nobody went without receiving. What you say? I think it is important for people to be aware of things like this. Huh? Everybody was served. We didn't know their number. But everybody was served. 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 And they went back home with something. This is church. This is the El Shaddai that we serve that is big enough and massive enough to take care of himself without the assistance of a man if he is associating with you for your benefit. 2022. The other one was 2020. Just after COVID. Uh, I'm sure you know why the, the line on that one was much. Even this is, is, is so much. Is God speaking to somebody here? Lift up your right hand and say, Father. Lift your right hand and say, Father. Thank you for the privilege of the practice of the covenant. Thank you for the privilege of involvement in the practice of the covenant. Thank you for the privilege of giving at all in any dimension. Not because you need it. You are so big. I appreciate the privilege. Be glorified, Lord. In Jesus' precious name, say amen. Take your seat. This is food distribution to people who come to church on Sunday who don't have food to go and eat at home. Every single Sunday, you don't have what to go and eat at home. University students, also, University of Abuja here, who don't have food to eat in school. You sure that clip again? You can just show the distribution. All right, let's proceed. That's right. Every single one of these people will be going home to eat at home. Without this, they wouldn't have known what to go and eat when they reached home. They look fine physically. But if you consider the look of people, some may die in your hands. They came to church. Shouldn't they have come to church and be charged and be asking, asking them to bring? Bring, 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 come. Why, what are you here doing? Where's your offering? Where's your giving? They came to take. <laughs> Let us go. Have every, Sunday. every Sunday, every single Sunday. Sow a seed to tap into grace. 
if your offering does not move you it cannot move god god does not need anything from us he is not worshipped with men's hands as though he needs anything. Let your offering move God. Then when it is not working, they say fill up the clouds. Fill up the clouds. Because when the clouds are full, they empty themselves to the earth. Oh, give your sacrifice. For in that night when God smelled a sweet smell, he said as long as the earth remained, Therefore, when you bring your best offering, God will speak. No, no, no. Look at verse 25, Acts 17. Neither is worship with men's hands as though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life and breath and all things. Verse 26. And had made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. And had determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. God is a giver. In superstitious worship, you have to give God. You have to bribe God. You have to mobilize God. You have to give to God before God does something. That's superstition. But in the true worship of God, he takes nothing from men, but he gives all things to men. What God have you been worshipping? Is he the one that has been asking from you money? Or the one asking you to connect to uncommon prosperity? Only the uncommon will attract the uncommon. If you want a car, a land or a house, sow a dangerous seed. Because a seed will meet every need. Because as long as the earth remaineth, seed time and harvest shall not cease. And they always avoid winter and summer. Because they know the moment they add winter and summer, it will change the demographics of that verse. When he saw that he was not getting the harvest, he said, seed, time, harvest. Someone said, you know, God is very particular about tithes. Very particular. God doesn't joke with tithe. God gave you all in the garden. But he said, don't touch the tithe. Don't touch it. Don't touch the tithe. It was tithe that Adam ate and fell in Genesis. And I hear them saying it all over the place. Only people that don't read their Bible will fall into that trap and become idiotes in the hands of such charlatans. Somebody even said, you will continue to pay tithe in heaven because if there will be honor in heaven, tithing will continue. <laughs> tithing will continue in heaven. Are you normal? Are you normal? Tithe is from farm produce. Tithe is from herbs, from spices, maggi, onions, you know, from cumin, from um, what do they call all those spices? From all the different spices, curry, you know, all of those things. So if we will continue to pay tithe in heaven, it means we shall be farmers in heaven because we will have to farm and bring the proceeds of the farm. This, this money mongers, these tight mongers, there's, I've told you, there's nothing they cannot do to collect money by all means. But God does not need anything from you. Only when you are in superstition, you will be looking for what to give to God to move God. God moved before you were born in the person of Jesus Christ. But God commended his love towards us. In that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Greater love has no man than this. That a man should lay down his life for his friends. Watch this. The son of man came not to be ministered to. He didn't come for what you have. He didn't come for your money. But he came to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. I am come that you may have 
I didn't come to collect. I came to give you life. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. It is the thief that takes. Jesus says, I'm come to give. So, you don't need to bribe God. You don't need to mobilize God. God does not need anything from you. All of this animism being practiced as Christianity is coming to an end. Traditional worship practice as Christianity is coming to an end. The transactional gospel has collapsed. Collapsed completely all over the world. Occultism practice as Christianity. Native doctorism practice as Christianity all over Africa is coming to an end. A mixture of all religions as Christianity is coming to an end. Christ is glorified all over africa and all over the world the knowledge of the glory of the lord as the water covers the sea the table of superstition is collapsing like a pack of cards the true knowledge of god in christ covers the whole nations of the earth glory to god he said god doesn't need anything see how he finished the law he said god cannot be worshipped with men's hands that's why jesus said you worship the father you worship Abba. You worship Pata. That is somebody who is responsible for you. You are not the one responsible for God. All these money mongers, they make it look like our God is always hungry for money. Always hungry. Always hungry. Always hungry. And that colors their messages, colors their emphasis, colors their focus. And you know, until a preacher of Christ defeats Mammon, he has not understood the gospel. I don't care how many years you are preaching Christ. If you have not defeated Mammon, you are still having a long journey. Because the only thing fighting for God's place in your heart is Mammon. You cannot serve God and Mammon. Mammon will have to collapse. Your greed, your appetite, your desire to continue robbing the people of God with the Bible making them feel condemned unworthy never qualified because their offering is never enough that day is over there is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in christ jesus jesus didn't come to collect from you he came to offer you what he has that is the true worship of god in this video dr dk ulukoya fire non titus dr dk ulukoya of the mountain of fire and miracle ministries attacked and fire non titus and he claimed that the current system now in nigeria is that if you are not a titer arm robber are going to rob you and collect the one you have that if you are not a titer you are a robber that you are a robber and you are robbing god so arm robber has the right to also rob from you since you are both robbers we also have dr a bedamina dr a bedamina strictly is against this statement strictly went against this statement and he he emphasized on it that this statement is wrong and god does not need anything from us dr a bedamina claimed that all these prosperity preachers there is nothing they cannot do to make people pay tight and he claimed that what dr dk Oluka is only saying is that he's only saying what he's saying to make people pay tight and to make people bring out money and give we also have bishop david Oedepo. bishop david Oedepo claimed that giving a small offering to god is an insult that he cannot give a small offering to god because by so in, because by doing so in that such a person is insulting God. We also have Dr. Paul Energy that claimed that if everyone stopped giving, that even if we stop giving, he claimed that those are those that are against giving, let them stop giving. And even if they stop giving, and even if himself stop giving, the work of God is going to continue and that God cannot be stranded. That even if Christians stop paying their tithes, God can never be stranded. Now, on the issue of tithing, we are in the end time. We are in the end time. And it is advisable that believers are careful of the, kinds of, of the kind of messages we listen to. 
is advising that believers are careful of the kind of messages we listen to online. That is why it's of great importance that Christians know God for themselves so that we will be able to differentiate between truth and false at this end time because a lot of things are flying around. Just like Dr. Abed Amina said that all these prosperity gospel preachers, there is nothing, absolutely nothing they can do to collect money from their members. There is nothing, absolutely nothing they can do to just bring people to pay tithes, to give, to sow seed and do the rest and do all those things. So it's of great importance that believers know God for themselves in this end time so that we'll be able to differentiate between the truth and the false. As we all know, Christ never collected tithes. The apostles never collected tithes. Tithing was never a must in the Bible. It was never a must. Christ never collected tithes. The apostles never collected tithes from anyone. The Bible says, if we must give at all, we should give cheerfully. We should give cheerfully. So, any man of, if there's any man of God trying to force or cajole anyone into giving, trying to tell up a story or, or whatever, just to stir up the heart of people to give, such a person... Such a person is doing clearly against the scripture. Such a person is doing clearly against the word of God. Jesus Christ never forced anyone to give in the Bible. Jesus Christ never come up with a silly story just to force people to give in the Bible. No. He told us that if we should if we must give at all, we must make sure that we are giving cheerfully because we are not under a law. We are not under a threat. We are not under a command that, that that by fire by force we must give. Even God Almighty never forced anyone to do anything. It is of our own free will. So any pastor that is trying to cajole people by any means just to give such a person is doing against the scripture. Giving is not a must. Not as the way our pastors now has presented it. The Bible says if we must give, we are to give cheerfully and not forcefully and not grudgingly or, or being forced or, or being persuaded because of what we have from a story. But we are to give cheerfully. You shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free.